Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all tech games for the GameCube and PS2. Tech Power of Juju is bad. It has some parts where the attention to detail is worthy of a masterpiece and parts where the game is so tedious and annoying that you forget about the good parts. Ok, so the game is mainly a puzzle platformer. But you don't do just that. You have I like the variety in gameplay, but what I don't like are the tedious puzzles. I mean, like for example here where you wake a mummy and have to guide it through the levels. It doesn't sound bad, but believe me, the AI is so stupid you will have to replay and replay and replay the same parts. And what is worse is that you have to do this 4 times because there are 4 mummies. And remember, this was just an example. Tedious puzzles like this are plenty in this game. The levels are beautiful and you can pole vault around, throw bombs or use a blowgun. The combat is just swing based and here at combat is another problem of the game. The main enemy type swarms you and attacks you from all places. So the best strategy in general in this game is to just run and hit enemies while running. Overall the exaggerated backtracking in the game and the overly repetitive puzzles that are super tedious make you hate the game. It has some upsides, but the bad parts are so bad, annoying and frustrating that you forget about what the game has good to offer. But at least with the second game, they made it. Tech 1 was close to being a hidden gem, but the annoying puzzles prevented the title. Tech 2, the Staff of Dreams on the other hand, is remarkable. This time the game is a linear platformer, and the scenery is incredible. The graphics look amazing and even today the art style still looks great. And I like that the more you progress, the darker the game gets. And the environmental platforming parts are great. In combat, now there are combo moves. You don't just get one attack button. This time you get attacks. And throughout your adventure you unlock more and more attacks which you can chain. The game has a nice sense of progression. The game also has humor, the good type of humor, and it makes you feel like playing the source material. This game isn't great just for a tying game. It's an amazing game even for normal game standards. And Tag 3 The Great Juju Challenge could have been better, but Disney bought the rights to Avalanche Studios and made the game developer work on other projects. That's why the game feels rushed and that's why it's full of bugs. As for the gameplay, it's a puzzle platformer. This time you play as a tag team, you play as tag and lock, and each have their own abilities. And this time you run a time limit, because the plot of the game is that you compete in the great juju challenge and you need to win, so you have to reach the high score. You need to finish a level as fast as possible while also collecting stuff and beating up enemies. But don't worry, if you don't make it in time, then you just don't get the time bonus at the end of a level. Once again in combat, you get many moves and powers to unlock which not only spice things up, but also help you to feel the progression. You become OP by the end of the game. Also I like the variety along the adventure. Even if the most part of the game is platforming and puzzle solving, you also get other gameplay types. Like for example later in the game you get bumper cars. The game is awesome. It's definitely a hidden gem. It could have turned out even better if the developers had more time to work on it, I mean, it has glitches and you can see that some assets were recycled from other tech games, but even so, they did a really good job with this one too. The game is amazing. So in conclusion, I recommend you to play Tech 2 and 3, as they are amazing games. Not just as tying games, but as standalone games too.